Hi ladies and gents, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Uh, what we're going to be having a look at today is creating this four-way utility key. Um, uh, so I'm going to model this up for you and take you through the process of being able to uh, create this model. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you've been enjoying the content as you're going through, please give us a big thumbs up uh, and a like on the video, please. Okay, let's dive into this then. Right, so I'm going to start on the top plane. So on the top plane, open up a sketch. And I'm going to create two circles from my origin. Like so. So my circles are going to be the outer one. It's going to be 15. And my inner one is going to be 6. like so. Now once I've got them two circles in there I'm going to extrude them so I'm going to go to features and extrude and for this case I'm going to extrude around the midpoint so I'm going to go from blank to mid midplane there so it's going out the same distance each way and it's going to be a distance or an extrusion of nine millimeters like so. Okay, and that effectively gives us our center hub. What we're going to do from that center hub is create four uh, offshoots. Now, I'm going to start that from my uh, front plane. I'm going to sketch on the front plane. Um, I'm just going to go normal to that, so control and 8 is the quick key for the uh, normal 2. And um, sketching on there, I'm going to go to drawing and hit a circle and I'm going to get a circle and I'm going to drag it up to that top edge and drop it there. Okay, so that's a 9 milli circle there, right on the front plane. Now I want to extrude that, so I'm going to go to features, extrude. Now the issue is here, if I extrude from that front plane, it's going to fill in this center hole and I want that to stay as a hole through the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset my starting point to the outside end of where I want this to go up to. So I'll go to offset. I'm going to take that to 36.5, which will take me out here as my starting point. I'm then going to select um, my end point as my or my end conditions, I say, as a surface. So up to the surface, I'm going to select this surface here. And it's going to flip that round and extrude it back on itself till it hits that hub. Tick there. And that gives me um, that sp effectively spoke of my four spokes coming off my hub. I'm going to pattern that round. So circular pattern. My direction, any circle. I could use the outside or the inside. inside it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to create four equally spaced around 360 of this feature here okay tick that and i get my four offshoots from my hub okay uh, now i'm going to start off with um, any it doesn't matter they're all the same size they just have different ends on so if i start with this one and i'm going to uh, sketch onto this one on the end Uh, sorry, using the center rectangle there, I'm going to drag this out and drop that in there. Now I'm just going to turn that so that I'm normal to that face, so control and 8. And now I want this distance across here. So this distance across here is going to be um, 14. So it's 14 across and it is going to be two milli thick. Now that needs to be extruded back and it's going to be extruded back seven mil. So if I go to my features and extrude that back and 
Now I don't want it coming out of the face, I'm going to reverse direction and I'm going to go 7mm uh, backwards and take. Okay, so that's given me that uh, crossbar through the centre of there. I just need a hole in the end of here. So I'll put in the hole in the end of there. Uh, again, sketching on that surface. From the centre, extrude that out. Uh, draw that circle out. That's going to be 5mm. So turn that to 5mm. And then I'm going to cut that into the model, going back 10mm. So features, extrude cut. I'm going to take that back 10mm, like so. Okay, so that's one end with its shape on. Now, what I'm going to do now is go to uh, these two. These two here have exactly the same size heads on. So um, we're going to start off with these two before we move to the final one at the end. So with these two, um, uh, I'm going to go over to the right plane. I'm going to sketch on that right plane. Move flat on like so. And um, I am going to create a sketch on one end. And this is just going to outline the shape that we get for um, 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 our head that we have on this end. So we have a distance up there. So using our dimension tool, our distance up um, is going to be a diameter of uh, 14 so therefore we're going to have a 7 coming up at the side there we're going to be going back a distance of 13 and this angle here to there is going to be 45 degrees like so okay so I'm going to revolve that round to add the extra material in for the head that I want there so I'm going to go to features and revolve which allows me to revolve this shape around that center so all I've done there in my axis of revol revolution I've selected that line going across the center it's picked up the shape and it's doing it 360 degrees round. Tick there. And I have that head on that end. I need to repeat the process on this other end. So rather than actually drawing it all out, I can just mirror that across. So I'm going to go to mirror tool. And I want a face to mirror across, which in this case is going to be my front face. And my feature to mirror is going to be this revolve here. <laughs> Tick at the top, and that'll mirror that across. So I've just got my two different shapes to put in here. So uh, in this end, I have a square, which is going to be eight by eight. So let's sketch in that end. I'm going to move normal to that. So that's Control and eight again. Uh, using a center rectangle, I'm going to put that from the center of my origin, and I'm going to go eight up and eight across like so now once I've got that shape in I'm going to go to features I'm going to go to cut and I'm going to go back 10 mil tick there and that gives me that square head cut out into that end on the other end I've got a triangle so Clicking on here, I'm going to sketch on that end, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a circle in the center from the origin. Not to any defined size at the moment. I am just also going to again turn myself so that I am uh, normal to that face. So I'll click on the face, Control and Eight, just lines me up, and then. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw in a rough triangle. I'm going to turn this outer circle here to a construction line. And this triangle is going to be dimensioned up so that I've got a 10mm across the bottom there. That 
10 mil at the side here. And that will fully define this triangle for me leaving the last line 10 as well. Okay. So once I've got that sketching, I'm going to go to features and again cut that triangle out. And that triangle is going to be going back 10 as well. You can see there now we've got a triangle cut in that face. Okay, so last end is going to be this end over here. And then we've just got a few little bit of features to add to it to finish it off. So um, I'm going to go on the front face. I'm going to sketch on there. Get that lined up. So spacebar brings up, if I hit spacebar, it brings up this um, view option. So it'll either bring it up as this or it'll bring up as this. If you want to get this box up, it's just this button at the top here. Okay, so I'm going to again sketch profile onto here. Just creating that shape. And then let's put some sizes to this. So this one is going to be uh, 12, up, uh, 12 up from the, so 12 diameter, so it's going to be 6 up. And it's going to be 13 a long. Sorry, 12 up. This one's going to be 12 long, not 13 long. Um, my angle from there down to the base here is going to be 45. And that gives me my completed shape that I can revolve around again. So if we go to features, revolve. My uh, axis of revolution is going to be this bottom line here. And take that. Okay, so in this last face here, I'm just going to click on that. And I am going to sketch on there. Control 8 so I can get straight on again. And this time what I'm going to be creating is another square from the center. So center rectangle tool from the origin. Uh, but rather than being 8 by 8 this one's going to be 6 by 6. So 6. And 6. Like so. And again I'm going to go to features and I'm going to cut that back into the model. And I'm going to go back 10 again. So using that same cut distance, 10 into the model. Okay, so we've got all the ends sorted now. Um, we've just got a few little bits of a detail to add onto this. So the first piece is a little bit that's on top of this section here. So I'm going to sketch online with this top plane of this um, hub. I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to use the slot tool here. So I'm creating with the slot tool. I'm just going to drop one in there like so. And then I'm going to go to my top view. Now I'll see there that the line's not straight and this is some of the issues we get when we try sketching without being normal to the plane. So I'm just going to click that line there and just make it so it's vertical, uh, sorry not vertical, horizontal line. There we go. Now taking that, I'm just going to drag it up and over there. Okay, so I want this outside edge here to be um, have a relationship to that point there. So we're going to coincident. I'm going to take that center point and create a relationship with that center point. And again, I'm going to go horizontal there. And now you can see it's all lined up. Okay, so we just need some size to this now. So the uh, diameter of the circle here at the side is going to be 8, which is a 4 radius. Uh, and my distance in the center position here is going to be 9. So, giving me a total length from the outside edge of this circle to the outside edge of this circle is 17. Now from that sketch, I can go to features and extrude. 
and I'm going to take this down to the surface below. So my end condition is going to be up to the surface. I'm going to click this section here of my model, this surface here, and I'm going to tick OK, and that will extrude that down into the model like so. OK, so just the last couple of fillets to add to this. So I'm going to go to the fillet tool. Now the fillet that I'm going to be using on this model is going to be 0.5. So all my fillet conditions are going to be 0.5. So 0.5 mil. And I'm going to round off that end. That end. Is it going to give me the option for... Now these are just predictions that it's going to ask me to do. So at the moment it's not coming up with the predictions that I want. So that's not a problem. What I'm just going to do is select the edges that I think are appropriate. So that one there and that one there. So that rounds off them edges for um, them four corners on that. What I am also after is all of the points that intersect with the center hub. So if I select the face there, that should pick up on all of the sides that are on that center hub and round them off to 0.5 mil as well for a fillet. Tick. And now we have got the shape that we are after. So if I just change that from the line to the shaded view, you'll see now that it becomes a lot uh, clearer. Now what we also want there is to apply a material. So I'm going to right click anywhere on the model, actually on the model itself, and go to appearance. And for this I'm going to do the body because I want the whole thing to have the same appearance. I could change this, uh, the appearance of a single face or just a, a feature on that component, but I'm going to go for the whole body. This will bring up all my appearance options. I'm going to go to painted, so my painted here on my drop down menu. Um, I'm going to go to spray, and I want the black appearance there, the black spray paint appearance. I'm going to tick at the top, and that will give me my finished look for this component for the model. Now through that there we've modelled up the four-way utility key completely. I um, hope you enjoyed that tutorial, hopefully that's helped you or given you something useful to do. Um, it is just a bit of fun this one um, and it's a great tutorial for people that are getting into SOLIDWORKS. So give it a go and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye for now.